Hello and welcome to my channel. I hope you are all feeling well. So you join me here getting my weekly exercise. I've been isolated for over a week now, uh, self-isolating, me and my last together. It ain't bad. Um, yeah, my place of work closed about uh, a week ago. So it's a strange feeling not being at work. But do you know what, when I get out into the fresh air, out onto the hills, it does help me forget about all the problems in the world right now. And it is therapeutic to uh, just forget about it for a while. So maybe it will help you forget for a while, enjoy me with uh, some of this lovely scenery and uh, come on a walk with me. So I hope it works for you as well. Now, as well as enjoying the wonderful scenery here in this part of West Yorkshire, I'm also going to talk to you in this walk about my new camera, that's the G9, coupled up with the fantastic 8 to 18 millimeter wide angle lens. So come on, let's do this. I'll tell you something, the uh, temperature has dropped over the last couple of days. I've actually been uh, isolating nicely in my garden, bit of sunshine, been quite enjoying it. <laughs> but uh, it has dropped and uh, here we've got about three degrees and uh, the wind chill factor is probably bringing us down to about one. So yeah, it's pretty cold today, but I'm happy to be out and I'm grateful that uh, in the UK we can actually uh, still get out for a walk as long as we are on our own, still following the rules. And I hope you are too. So in the past, some of my loyal subscribers have actually called me the GoPro man. And that's because I have been on a bit of a journey with the GoPro series of cameras, trying to perfect the ultimate lightweight vlogging rig for my outdoor videos. And uh, it didn't really go well. It seemed to be the obvious choice at the time, the GoPro series. I mean, the camera is so tiny, lightweight, nice wide angle lens already on there and uh, almost bomb proof and uh, definitely waterproof. So it seemed the obvious choice. Now I started with the GoPro Hero 5 and stayed with the GoPros right through to the GoPro Hero 8. And all them cameras had uh, more than a few issues. But the GoPro Hero 8 with the disappointing uh, medium module was the final nail in the coffin. Are we, are we allowed to say coffin? So I needed an upgrade and it had to be weatherproof, including the lens. And the new camera, the upgrade, needed to have uh, five axis stabilization in body uh, for the walking shots, of course, and uh, top notch audio, a blooming audio jack. That's, that's what it needed. And uh, I wanted it all to come in at around the same price point as the GoPro Hero 8, which uh, is around 300 quid, 350 quid. That was the kind of budget I was looking at. Cue the Lumix G9 camera. And at this point I wanted some epic B-roll some awesome b-roll of the Lumix G9 camera. But uh, I don't have another camera to film that on, but you can imagine it. So yes, the uh, Lumix G9, it is weatherproof. It's got five axis stabilization and uh, electronic stabilization as well. And uh, it's also got an audio jack and awesome audio features. So it is an amazing camera, everything that I wanted. And it's also the same price as the Hero 8 Black times four. But who wants four times rubbish when you can have one times fantastic? And not to mention all the money that I threw at the overpriced accessories for the GoPro series. Now I'm filming this entire vlog on the Lumix G9 of course with the 8 to 18 millimeter wide angle lens. But the kit lens that comes with the G9, I got the, uh, the basic kit lens. That kit lens is a 12 to 60 millimeter lens and it's an amazing lens and it's also fully weatherproof just like the body of the G9. Now my channel and most of my vlogs are based around going for a walk. So if you're enjoying this so far, if you're enjoying the scenery, maybe you'd like to consider subscribing to be updated on future vlogs. Because my channel is really all about the scenery and uh, you can see the gorgeous scenery that we have here in West Yorkshire. And I do like to show you that on my channel as we go for a walk and not too much of my old face. So I needed a wide angle lens, wider than the 12 millimeter that the kit lens was offering. About five years ago when I owned the G85 camera, uh, I did get the Lumix 7 to 11 wide angle lens and I paid uh, about 700 pounds for that brand new. A great lens, uh, but uh, five years on, I looked at that lens, still going for 700 pound brand new. It's got a constant aperture of four, so it does limit that lens, it's not as versatile, but a great lens, and that was the lens that uh, I thought I was going to get. It's just started snowing here, so uh, it is pretty cold today. 
I'm going to make my way back towards the car now. I hope you're enjoying the walk so far. I've just got a little bit further to go. Now, as I was saying, I was just about to uh, purchase the 7 to 11 Lumix lens. I had it in my basket on Amazon, ready to press the buy now button. And I've just got to say, £700 for that lens, and it's not even weatherproof, so not weather sealed. So it's a very expensive lens. You would expect it to be weather sealed for that kind of money. And then, yes, I got the recommendation for another lens. And I hadn't seen this one before. Panasonic lens again, a Lumix lens, and it's the 8 to 18 millimeter lens. And that's what we're vlogging on today. So I, of course, had a closer look at the 8 to 18 millimeter lens. I hadn't seen this lens before and figured that it was going to be a cheaper option. I could not believe it when I saw the price of this lens. This lens that we're vlogging on now, the 8 to 18 millimeter Lumix lens comes in brand new at just over a thousand pound. There's no way I was going to pay that kind of money for a lens. But then I saw it, this lens is actually weatherproof, just like the body of the G9, a match made in camera heaven. So of course I had to have it. I sold the house, I sold the car. I started pole dancing again, all to raise the cash for the wedding. The marriage of my fantastic Lumix G9 to the Panasonic 8 to 18 millimeter wide lens. But luckily, just before the sale of the house went through and they came to collect the car, I, uh, I saw it on eBay for 500 quid. You'll be pleased to know that I am still keeping up the pole dancing though. You just can't turn down that kind of money, easy money. It's starting to snow. It is uh, sort of a hail sort of snow and freezing cold, but that doesn't matter because this camera is freeze proof, dust proof and waterproof. Now the eBay description did say that it was in mint condition like new and you can imagine how happy I was when it came with no box. It didn't have a box, I thought, oh dear, but it was really well wrapped and it is in mint condition just like new so you can get some good deals on ebay and other second hand places so the arranged marriage is complete the joining of the lumix g9 with the panasonic 8 to 18 millimeter wide lens so let me know in the comments section below what you think of the new couple i got to say they look really good together but it's early days yet. Now, I think we can all agree that no relationship is perfect, but this one is pretty close. So we are coming to the end of the walk for this week. I just wanted to update you on my new lens for my Lumix G9. And I do hope this vlog has helped at least one person out if you're in the market for a new lens for your Lumix uh, camera, for your Micro Four Thirds Lumix camera. That is it for this one. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed it, give me a like. I have, of course, enjoyed your company or I would have been all by myself. I upload a vlog every week. So if I don't see you through the week, I will see you in the next one. Bye.